Lake Natron. The African country Tanzania has a unique lake on its northern border with Kenya. Every year it attracts many tourists who come here to see the strange look of the lake. The lake is reminiscent of a supernatural alien landscape. Let's know the secret of the red water of the lake and the reasons why the residents of the surrounding villages avoid this area. To get started, if you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. If you have already done so, thank you. Nature always leaves us to wonder. Many things seem dramatic to us. One such marvelous creation is Natron Lake, a salt and soda-rich lake in the Auschwitz region of Tanzania. According to experts, the lake originates from the southern Iwaso Njira River. This lake is rich in minerals. Lake Natron is very shallow. Its depth varies from 1.5 to 3 meters, so the water temperature is heated from 50 degrees to 60 degrees Celsius. The water of this lake can be orange or pink depending on the shade and depth and sometimes looks like an ordinary pond, especially in the dry season when the lake water dries up, the salinity level increases. At this time, the deep part of the lake's water turned red. And one of the reasons for this is a type of germ called halophil. But the most interesting and exciting thing is that the water of the Natron River in Tanzania is quite dangerous. The concentration of sodium salt is so high that death is inevitable if anyone drinks it. After death, the corpse becomes stiff. Many photographers have found photographs of many such animals and birds. If you want to swim in the impossibly beautiful lake, you have to understand that the result will not be pleasant at all. Moreover, the toxic gas hydrogen sulfide is emitted from the lake's crust. Animals usually die in reaction to this gas. Only a few species of animals can live here. For example, Thousands of tiny flamingos flocks to Lake Natron during the summer season. Natron Lake is home to about 75% of the world's flamingo birds. Birds nest in rock and even salt islands, and quickly breed under the protection of ambient temperature lakes and gives birth. The environment of this lake is favorable to them and the salty water do not do any harm to them. Let us know some unknown facts about this lake. The lake has no boundaries, meaning that there is no confluence of rivers and seas with the lake, so that no outside water can flow into the lake. Lake Natron has a pH level of just over 10.5. The most dangerous problem is that the birds do not have to land on this lake. They fell into the water of the lake while flying over it. How? Because there is lava instead of water, the sun's rays are reflected more from the lake. As a result, the birds are dazzled when they fly overhead. Confused by the flash of intense light, bats or birds fall into the lake. Many birds die as soon as they fall. Even if someone climbs ashore great difficulty, his suffering increases. The soda and salt of the lake water get into the body of the bird or animal, which tends to bite the body as it dries. The salt and soda gradually turn to stone. At a time, the body of the bird took the form of a complete limestone statue. Famous wildlife photographer Nick Brandt went to Africa to take pictures. He came to Tanzania to take pictures of the mountain of God. This hill is an active volcano which causes the eruption of nitrocarbonate lava. A vast lake fell on his eyes from the top of the hill. The strange color of the lake water attracted him. Descending from the hill, he walked enchanted towards the lake. Reaching the lake, he walked along the shore and saw innumerable birds and statues of bats scattered along the shore of the lake. 
It is as if the people have made the statues perfectly, leaving them neglected on the shores of the lake. The statues are pretty heavy. As he lifted the statue of a bird and looked at it carefully, an icy current flowed along his spine. These are not statues, mummy of animals that have turned to stone while alive. The handheld GPS device indicated the name of the killer lake is Lake Natron. When photographer Nick Brandt's fascination subsided, he started walking along the shore again. He took pictures of different birds, including fish, eagles, swans, and hundreds of other unnamed birds. They touched the water of this lake. As soon as they touched, they became a, a live stone. Like the Ahalia of the Piranhas. The body of each animal is perfectly frozen in limestone. It would seem, in a nature workshop, that a sculptor carves statues out of stone made. Nick wrote in his book, I wanted to get them alive again for a few minutes. I made them sit on the branches of the trees or the rocks by the side of the lake. I took pictures. They looked amazingly alive in the camera's viewfinder. These pictures taken by Nick have received a worldwide response with the headline, Alive Again in Death. Although it is beautiful to see from a distance, there is a terrible history and reason behind all the beauty. This Natron Lake is such a lake. Death is inevitable only if one is fascinated by its beauty and wishes to go very close. Anyway, this is today's episode. Please tell us if you like today's episode of Amaze World in the comment box. If you like the video, please like and share it. Thank you.